G'day gamers, I'm Rit in Water and this is 7 Days to Die, Alpha 15 Let's Play. This will be a Dead is Dead playthrough, so once I die, that's the end of the series. So let's get started with the basics of Survival Quest. Let's gather up as much plant fibre as I can, so I can get some clothing uh, get some clothing crafted. I'll gather some wood as well and some stone if I can. And I can get some um, get some tools crafted. Now I can make the stone axe. Gather some more stone while I'm here. I'll make another stone axe while I'm gathering this stone because these low level stone axes don't last very long. I'll scrap the damaged stone axe just to get some of the stone back out of it. I'll gather as much stone as I can from these small boulders. I like gathering the stone from here because you get some iron and sometimes other resources from these boulders rather than just the stone. Actually while I'm doing this I might as well craft this clothing. So I need pants shirt, hood, shoes, and gloves. You can see I've gathered some lead and nitrate powder from these boulders as well as iron and stone. Alright, it's time to move on. Don't want to hang around here for too long. There's some snowberries. These aren't great for eating, but if you're in a bind and don't have any food at all, you can eat a few of them without getting sick. Just don't eat too many at once. Can of stock that will come in handy early in the game. Oh, and here's another tree stump. Some more food. I thought that was a bear for a moment. And there's a little cabin up there. Oh, but there's the first zombie of the game. And it's one of the tougher ones. I'll just put a little waypoint there so I know that that cabin's there if I can't find anything else. I would prefer not to have to fight that snow zombie just yet. Some more bird's nests, more feathers. see that guy coming. During the day they're fairly easy to outrun, just as long as they don't sneak up behind you like that one did. Oh, found a cooking pot. That's very good this early in the game. Oh, I'm starting to get surrounded here so I'll keep moving. Oh, 
cooking pot is a very good find for the first day. It allows you to boil water. So that means that water won't be such a problem. Let's see if I can get this before they reach me. Yep. I'll skirt around the lake here to the green area to the east there, or southeast. Grab some of these snowberries as I'm going. Is it splint for if I break my leg? Okay, I'm starting to run out of room, so when I get a chance, I'm going to stop somewhere so I can check my inventory, see what I need to keep, what I can get rid of, what can be scrapped. Got a couple of blueberries, I'll just eat those. That is not good. I did not see that guy coming, and I'm infected. That is not good. But I do have honey at least, which will cure the infection. I need to be more careful. I think the volume might be turned down a little bit too low in, this, in the game settings how they keep sneaking up on me. Never mind, I survived. So. It's my first bit of money, my first coins. There's a swimming pig. It's an unusual sight. And almost got snuck up on again. Oh, there's another building over there. I may come back to that one if I don't find anything outside the snow. I do like those buildings because they're two stories so you can block up the bottom level and just climb to the top and that keeps you safe from at least from the most basic of zombies. That reminds me I'll have this honey now to get rid of the infection. Is that a graveyard over in the distance? I think it is. If you have time to search the graveyards, you can sometimes find some good items in them, but it's quite time consuming going through them because you have to dig up every grave. And most of them have nothing of much use in them. Nope, and he's coming again. I'm finding a lot of good things, but I just don't have the time or room to actually examine them properly. Let's get rid of this paper for now. Don't need four cloth fragments. Almost got hit again. I'm not doing very well. Yeah. Really want to check this bag over here. Let's see if I can lead this guy away. Let's 
keep moving. There's a building up there. Can't quite tell what kind of building it is, but it seems to be in a good environment, so it might be a good spot to set up base, at least to start. Just a shack really, not the not the best building. That looks like a town over there. Finding a town on the first day is always promising. Oh, there's a bear. I do not want to mess with a bear at this stage. Scrap that just to free up a spot. This looks promising. It's definitely a town of some kind. You can see the layout of the roads in the distance. Close to this town. Hello, what's this? It looks like a prison. These prisons actually make quite good bases. Let's make our wooden club. And I'll do a few more arrows. In need of more wood. I wouldn't mind making a base in that prison. It usually takes a while to clear it out, but once you do, they have a very solid wall around them for early in the game, a concrete wall, which makes for some good defences. Yeah, so I have the game set to a 90 minute day-night cycle rather than the 50 minute standard just because I don't think you have enough time in the day to actually get things done and you don't want to be out at night early in the game when you have no weapons or anything and the zombies are running so I find a 90 minute day cycle allows you to get more done do more adventuring make more interesting videos rather than spending half of the time just sitting in a campsite waiting for the day to break Okay, I've got 1100 wood. I'll gather some more. I'll just eat a few of these snowberries. They can make you ill if you have too many, but have three or four at a time and you're usually alright. Before I go to the prison, I should fill these empty glass jars so that I can make more water. While I'm waiting, I'll go down to the water and fill up my empty glass jars. Just put them in your inventory, go up to the edge of the water and right click once. And it plays the animation as though you're drinking it, but if you only do it once, it will actually just fill the bottles up. Okay, I've got nearly 200 stone, 2,000 wood, a few plant fibers. Let's head over to this prison. Well, before I do that, let's make my wooden bow. 
I'll definitely be needing a weapon to clear the prison out. I'll remember to load up my bow with my arrows. And I'm ready to go. This is a weird biome, it's right on the edge of the snow. Okay, I'm going to go around the other way. Don't want to attract too much attention just yet. My plan will be to make my base in one of these towers. Probably this one. Tree skills. It's one down. Don't think I'm going to be able to get this big guy. I'll probably go down behind the fence. Keeps going to the door. It's obviously trying to find a way to get to me. I'm not too bothered about the inner fences. I'll let him break those down if he likes. to the knee. Alright buddy, what are you doing? There's a doorway right there. So now I'll find my way down. I just want to make sure there's no other zombies in the area. Once my camp is set up, I'll probably go around the perimeter and strengthen uh, some of the outer defenses. This is going to take a while to get through.
that's the main munition. I'll come back and get that in a moment. I'll actually use him to store a couple of items so I've got a little bit of room in my inventory for building I'm going to need some storage chests some wood doors This chest I will use for items that are not yet sorted. I'll stick them in this chest and then sort them out later. window right up and do the same for this door and then just for some extra security I'm going to put a couple of wood frames here and reinforce those Okay, so that should be fairly secure. Once I have some uh, steel doors, I'll put those on instead.
Well, I don't need a bedroll because once I die it's game over anyway, but I'll do it just to satisfy the game. Might as well put it outside. my campfire on top of this block. You earned a skill point for completing the basic survival quest. Spend it by accessing your inventory and navigating to the skills menu. Then highlight the desired skill or perk and purchase it. So now the new mission comes up which is the journey to settlement to locate the trader. So it's almost 10 o'clock, which is when night falls, so I obviously won't be doing that tonight. Drag the cooking pot onto the campfire tools panel. Sound signifies it's night time now. Yeah. Let's just sort the inventory out a little bit. Items I'm going to sell will go in this top chest. And all of this I'm going to sell. Hopefully I'll make enough money that I'll be able to buy something more worthwhile. And tomorrow we're heading for the trader camp. Let's quickly have a look at the skills. I've got six skill points. Generally what I like to do early in the game is upgrade my scavenging. By doing this early in the game it means I have more chance of finding better quality items early on. Okay, so I'll leave this video here for now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on day two.